down in this bowl, there's probably 10 to 12 bowls. And then there's probably another 10 to 12 bowls up here. I mean, in this immediate area, then there's probably another herd over here. There's probably 30 bulls or more or so. All we're gonna do is we're gonna get in there and we're gonna just start sorting through bulls. We're just right, gonna right, go right. bull to bull to bull to bull. in your lifetime. I mean, on, on a super premium tag, a, a 350 bull is, a guy could die a happy man with that, you know. Yeah. We've passed how many of them? That's a 370, which is let walk. But it's because of where we're hunting. And we're on day three. The bigger bull, the other bull, has whipped him twice when they're fighting for the cows, so the other bull might be bigger. Hopefully that wasn't our bull. <laughs> I bet we won't see what this bull is now. It's <laughs> good. He's really close to the road. Yeah. Has he got cows with him? Yep, lots of them. Okay. He's almost too close to the road, it seems like. Is he gonna, is he gonna he hear us when we drive over there? He shut your mouth. Look at him, he's glowing up there on that hillside. Oop. Oop. literally on that hillside they can see us if we're Good. What's that? Ah, uh, those cows got spooked and they went. Ten for it. He said the cows left, but he went this way and he's coming back this way, so we need to get up there. He's right there. He's right. He's moving. I'll stop him.
going down. He's down. He's rolling. Boom! Oh. Thank you, Andy. Sloan. Mason. Just like that, boys. Oh, fuck. That was a great shot, Mike. Thank you. Once again, that wind almost screwed us. The wind was going perfect. We get 50 yards from where we want to be to shoot, and the wind goes straight up. Someone gets on the radio and tells me the cow's boogered, but he had come over to his left to chase this other bull off, and we ran up to the edge of the trees, and he was cruising, I mean, he was going to get to his cows, Slash probably smelled us. Oh my god, I'm so happy this fucking happened. Shit. Oh, fuck the balls. Talk about testing the fucking <laughs> everything. The wind gods. <laughs> Easy hike though, too. And I do believe in hunting. You gotta put the time in sometimes. <laughs> I think we've done that. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, 285. Well, 285 when I range him, I bet by the time he shot, he was probably 290. Oh, fucking 333, I think he was. <laughs> Hoping he didn't break anything. He was going end over end for a minute. I End know. rocks. I know. Oh, my gosh. This thing is a beast. Wow. Mass and time length, buddy. Mass and wow. time length. Wow. Look at the fronts on this thing. He's got moss. He's got moss on his antlers. What, what's really cool about it is how heavy this, especially these are. These are really heavy ones. He's got good time length. He's a dark bull. Yeah, this is incredible. I love this G1's fat. Look at this. That's a G1. Just, oh, he is sweet. For, for the San Juan, this is actually the ones and twos. They usually start a lot closer together. This is about as far apart as you'll ever see them on the San Juan, which is kind of strange, but unique to us. This is the hidden extras in the gym. It's kind of cool as fists come off the inside of his beam. I don't know that I've ever seen that on a bull. I mean, they literally come off the inside of the beam. Does it on this side too. Huh. Yeah, we had a pretty nice, actually a very nice bull on the third day. And I only had about five, 10 seconds to look at him. I was early in the hunt. And because of the reputation that this unit has, I just wasn't ready to shoot. Been running that through my mind all after that day, obviously. And he's heavy and he, he made us work for him. About two days ago, we were at 11,300 feet chasing a bull, got up on it, wind shifted. And we went after him that afternoon, what killed us, wind shifted again. Went on another huge hike yesterday. Found him lower on the mountain and got on him and got him. Got a bullet in him. Uh, the squirrels that I'm giving away are locale, all hunt. I kept waiting for Mike to test out the old muzzle loader on one. That was the hurt chipmunk. <laughs> yeah, you're not making noise now, are you, fucker? <laughs> All right, let's get it moved. Perfect. Not perfect. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell is he coming alive? The taxidermist bitches about this line. You just show them a picture of where I'm doing this. This is one tag you don't want to not punch. Oh, 
over but the crying now, fellas. Oh, you pushed me! You pushed me right away, idiot! You son of a bitch! You got the blue on you!